in this video we are going to discuss about ethernet addressing so before ethernet addressing we wanted to discuss about ethernet at a data link layer so ethernet at a data link layer is responsible for addressing and framing of the data packets received from network layer and they prepare them for actual transmission into the network so here what happens when you receive uh, in the data link layer and it is responsible for addressing and framing of the data packets and they will prepare them in to transmit through the network so coming to ethernet addressing so coming to ethernet addressing identifies either a single device or a group of devices of a lan and it is called as mac address mac address is nothing but media access control address so each and every host or every physical hardware will be having this mac address and mac address is 48 bit or 6 bytes long as is written by cisco devices as mac address as this example 5022.ab5b.63a9 and also most operating systems write in this format 50 colon 22 colon ab colon 5b colon 63 colon a9 so this is the cisco devices format and this is operating systems format a unicast address identifies a single device and this device will be identified by the source and destination in the form of a frame setting so the unicast identifies a single device and this address is used to identify source and destination in a frame so you can see here the mac address is given like the first 24 bits is given by oui which is organizational unique identifier by ieee and the manufacturer will be assigning this other 24 bits so this is 6 hex digits and this is 6 hex digits so coming to the first half of every mac address is the oui organizational unit or unique identifier given by ieee to the particular vendor if we take juniper switches it will be given for juniper uh, vendor separately and cisco vendors as cisco vendor separately and the manufacturer assigns the second half of the address while ensuring that the number is not used on any other card so number will be not used on any other card of the second part of the mac address so mac addresses can also identify a group of devices which are in the same network and these are all are, are called group addresses and these are called group addresses and i triply will be classifying this two type of group addresses as a broadcast address and multicast address so what is a broadcast address the address has a value of ffff dot ffff dot ffff and means that all devices in the network should process the frame so this broadcast address is nothing but processing the frame to all the networks which are in the same network here and multicast address multicast addresses are used when the data or the frame needs to send to group of host in a network so broadcast means sending to all the host in the network and the multicast address means multi it sends only to a group of host in the network so these are the classifications given by ieee and this is how the ethernet addressing is taken place